but I'm still on the ground It's a dizzying day I would give love to get away super important so don't skip through this because I know you're like I can just see the comments out it's like jump to four minutes and 47 seconds just listen to what I have to say okay if you've followed my channel for a while you know that I struggled with binge eating this video is about so much more than just like showing you what I eat and recipes and food I really want it to I hope that if you are in a place of you are restricting yourself or you are struggling with binge eating or you don't know how to get out of you know, really strict dieting, that this video can help you to find freedom, not just with food, but like in your soul. I struggled. I know what it's like to feel like I'm never going to get out of binge eating and I don't know how to listen to my body and I feel confused about what to eat and when to eat and how much to eat and, and I just was so stuck. And if you're feeling stuck and if you're feeling like you maybe are wanting to watch this video so that you can look for like a way to eat or, um, or maybe on the opposite side of that, maybe you feel, because I, I felt like this for years, really judgmental of what other people ate because, and I say that with so much love in my heart, honestly. I know that pe some people aren't gonna like the way that I ate, but I literally don't care anymore. I have so much freedom in my own soul that it's not about outward appearance. It's not about what we eat, it's about what's inside. I knew that no number on the scale was ever gonna satisfy me. I knew that no amount of you know whatever gene size that wasn't gonna make me feel happy and satisfied it more than anything discouraged me you know of trying to work really really hard and then not seeing any progress and then giving up altogether and it's like I lived a healthy lifestyle like that for years and it was so unhealthy so I want you to actually leave this video feeling healthy no matter where you're at on your health and fitness journey I want you to know that I made this video for you to help you and to enable you and to empower you to move in a direction that is healthier. With all of that being said, I really do listen to my body. I intuitively eat, but it's like even like labeling it, I don't know, is like, it's just weird to me. I just eat. What I do is I eat when I'm hungry and I stop when I'm full. And I know that that may seem like, okay, Cambria, that is such an obvious tip but it's so much deeper. I remember like I would restrict myself and then I'd be like, I'm gonna eat all these cookies because I know that I'm never gonna eat them again. And, and then it was like, okay, that's ridiculous. And then I would 
gorge myself and I would be so incredibly stuffed and so full that I'd be sick. And I don't want you to live like that. I really don't. From the bottom of my heart, I don't want you to live like that. And I also don't want you to feel like a saint for eating a salad, okay? I really believe that there is balance. I personally believe this with all of my heart that it starts from inside. It really starts from inside. And it's not just like, oh, love yourself, accept yourself. Because as true as that is, and it is true that you should love and accept yourself, that didn't change me. That didn't, you know, affect me on a soul level where I could say, yeah, I'll just love myself and walk in that. I did love myself. I thought I was being loving to myself by restricting myself and by saying I'm beautiful and I'll be even more beautiful if I just restrict more and then I'll, you know, get thinner and all this and that. And it's like, it's something deeper. My identity was in my identity was in something that could never satisfy me. Love, acceptance, purpose, everything that I was desiring in my outward appearance is, is found inside in knowing that my identity is secure, not in myself and what I can make myself into, but in resting and in, in coming from a place of rest of my identity is already secure and it's a God-given identity and we don't need to go chasing after the wind. We don't need to go trying to look for things that we think will satisfy us, that will never satisfy us and that will were never meant to satisfy us from the first place. I gave up my diets when I truly surrendered and just said, God, I need to not trust in myself that getting this certain body will make me happy. And until I literally came to a place of brokenness in that because I worshiped what I looked like. I And I didn't even realize it, if I'm being honest. I didn't realize it. I just felt like I'm just, you know, I'm just living healthy and I have a, you know, I'm, you know, following my diet plan and, or my meal plans. And I, I, I didn't realize it that I was walking that path until it literally consumed my life. And I thought that I was controlling everything, that it was fine, but then all of a sudden I started binging and I started feeling down and I started beating myself up. And then all of a sudden I came to the, this place of like, how did I even get here? And if you feel like that today, I have so been there. I have been there and I just like, I just wish I could like give you a hug through the screen and like walk with you. And so that's what I wanna do with this video is like, I really wanna walk with you and show you that food freedom is Deeper than food freedom, it's a soul freedom. It's knowing that you are secure, that you are loved, and that your purpose is so much bigger than like this life and this, what's on your plate and what, you know, how, how much you exercise or don't exercise or how much fruit or how many veggies you ate. It's so much more than that. Like, I truly want us to be so concerned with the inside of like, am I truly like walking in a way that honors God toward myself that doesn't, it's not self-idolatry like I'm so obsessed with myself that I can't ever give up my diet plan because if I do then that's literally what I've put I put all my eggs in that basket that's what's gonna make me happy that's what I've been pursuing for years and for me to just drop that like I'm gonna lose my mind because that's everything to me and it became my everything and when it became my everything it enslaved me and I I started just doing whatever it took to get that kind of a body I was enslaved in an unhealthy habitual pattern that I literally couldn't get myself out of. God saved me from myself, like he really did. And I stopped binging when I made that video of how I stopped binging. And I, I think I said like, I'm about six months into it or something like that. I can't remember how many months, but I like, I remember saying in the video, like, I just like, I, I know this, this has worked and I'm never going back. And I never went back. It's so amazing what happens when healthy living is not elevated to a place that it shouldn't be. And let me say this, when healthy living is in its rightful place, you will find such a peace and a joy that you can enjoy it because it's not your everything. It's not your number one priority. I can just go on and on.
you are going to love this soup. You wanna start out with a cup of broth, and then I like to take uh, canned coconut milk. I love the flavor of canned coconut milk, and I add about one cup of that, and then about a couple tablespoons of the coconut cream. That's gonna make it really creamy and flavorful and delicious. One whole carrot, just one green onion, a celery stalk, I add like two little baby celery stalks with the leaves because it's super nutritious. Then I add about a quarter of a red bell pepper and a little bit of squash. So we're getting lots of vegetables in here, so good. About a quarter of a lemon, I just squeeze it in there and then I literally chuck the whole lemon in. And then half of a gala or gala apple, I will still never know how to say it. And then one clove of garlic, makes it so flavorful. A big handful of I almost said celery, but that's cilantro. And then about a large handful of raw cashews. That's gonna make it so creamy and yummy. And then I just chuck in a little bit of ginger. Fresh ginger is amazing with flavor. And you do need a high powered blender for this recipe. Now you could maybe put it in a crock pot all day and then blend it up if that's easier for you. Um, but yeah, I do. I did invest in a high power blender and I, I seriously use it all the time. So I did want to make this video like an accurate video because this is something that I actually do. And um, yeah, we saved up and got a blender that we love. So, and I use it all of the time and I don't regret it at all. It's an amazing investment. So anyway, um, then I just threw together a quick salad. We had some arugula that I needed to use up. My favorite dressing ever is just a little bit of agave, a little bit of avocado oil and some fresh squeezed lemon. It's so healthy and easy and you can make it at home. So I serve up the soup and I topped my salad obviously with some strawberries and some hemp seeds for some healthy fats, a little bit more cilantro and coconut milk or coconut cream. <laughs> and that was my lunch with half of an avocado. It was so good, just packed with nutrients and it really kept me energized for the whole day. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but this could be the greatest smoothie recipe of all time. You're gonna start out with just under a cup of liquid. I'm doubling the recipe here because I'm making it for me and Bo, but you wanna use just under a cup of almond milk and then a fourth of a cup of peanut butter, about, I like about a tablespoon of cacao. I add in a little splash of agave and just a couple drops of vanilla. And then I did add in collagen, but my camera shut off and I didn't realize it. And then you wanna add in one frozen banana and about a handful of ice. And wow, I have no words for how thick and delicious and yummy and filling. This is such a filling smoothie recipe. So I actually have been really loving this as like a pre-workout. I don't know, I just feel like it gives me really good energy. I really like it, you need to try it. It's like chocolatey banana milkshake. It's so good. Okay guys, this is my go-to dinner lately, AKA I eat this every single night because it's so good right now, I'm obsessed. I start out with just a simple crushed one clove of garlic, add a fourth of, oh, not a fourth, I am so sorry, one third, one third cup of tahini, and then I just fresh press, fresh squeeze, one lemon in there, mix it up, I add about five tablespoons of water or maybe less depending on how thick I want it. And then I actually always have pre-made vegetables. I roast them at about 400 degrees for like 15 minutes. And then making quinoa literally takes 15 minutes, seriously. And then I put the veggies on top and I spread on the tahini. And I ate all of the avocado. Normally I would eat more avocado, but we ate all of ours. Um, and so that is what I had for dinner with some salt and a little bit of parsley on top. Mm, 
so good. This is so filling. And normally I have a little bit more of a variety of vegetables too, but this is just what we had in the refrigerator and it was so tasty and so yummy. Never underestimate the power of a really good dressing. And when I say really good, I mean like so good that you just wanna like drink it or just like use your spoon and just eat the whole thing. I really felt like so energized today and so good and I just really listened to my body and what I wanted to eat. Also, drinking lots of water. I try to drink a ton of water throughout the day and I take my water bottle everywhere I go. I stick it in my purse, I keep it in my, I keep it everywhere. Like I just, it's where I am, there my water bottle is as well. Lots of water and lots of fruit. I'll probably eat some fruit when we get back. Yeah, today was just a really yummy day of eating. That soup that I made earlier, okay, it is so flavorful. Like words can never express to you. Look at my hands, I'm like freaking out. So I try to at least eat one salad a day, even if it's a small side salad. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything crazy, but I do try to eat like leafy greens every single day. I aim for that as a good goal. Um, not every day I hit it, but today I did and it feels really good. Another little tip that I have is to, I always have like easy fruit. Like I know that sounds really weird, but like apples and oranges, I, I at least eat one apple or one orange or if not both every single day because they're so easy, they keep really well, they don't go bad as fast, you know what I mean? Uh, so I always try to have those like in our house. Another thing that uh, I really suggest doing like tonight, um, it was so convenient to have pre-made veggies. It is so easy to pre-make vegetables. I have my little veggie chopper that you've probably seen in like a lot of my other videos. I'll link it in the description box. That thing has seriously changed my life. Like it's low key, like my best friend, my best friend in the kitchen. I literally use that thing and I chop up just a bunch of veggies, whatever I have, and they're all evenly perfectly sized. So then I just put them on a baking sheet and I'm telling you it cooks up in like 20 minutes at like 400 degrees. Sweet potatoes, zucchini, um, you know, kabocha squash, kabocha, kabocha. I don't know, the world may never know. I don't know at least. <laughs> if there's anything you're gonna make in this video, make that smoothie because oh, we'll make the soup too. Honestly, make everything, the granola is so good and this is amazing. The dressing is amazing. Okay, just make everything in this video. And if there's anything else you're gonna do, like this video right now because it really helps out my channel. Do you like how I just like sneakily it really helps out the YouTube algorithm, honestly. When you like my videos, it straight up makes me happy. I work really hard on them to help you and I just love making videos for you. Okay, I need to get in the shower now and go to church and then who knows? We'll just see what happens in the rest of this evening. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. Maybe I'll just go off this way. Okay, I'm going to take a shower, bye. I can't believe you actually did. Stop it, Bo. <laughs> I mean, Meester. We had a competition who could make a better cup. Wow, honey, I can't believe you did it. Oh, by the way, I was filming you. <laughs> oh. Mmm. All right, you get a good shot of that? That's, here, yeah. Whose coffee looks better? Okay, that is pretty cute. I'm like really surprised right now. Don't challenge me. <laughs> Okay, mine looks yummy though. No, mine looks yummy. Alright, let me. I'm gonna drink his face. Are you telling me you better not eat? I'm not. 
Not filming you. You made it to the end of this super long what I eat in a day, so congratulations and thank you so much for watching this video. I have a couple things to say. The first thing is very important. Please like this video if you didn't like it already. The second thing, when I was writing my ebook on track, I was thinking about how were the struggles that I have faced over the years of trying to stay on track with a healthy lifestyle. Like what were the things that really tripped me up? What were the things that really pushed me off track, if you will, if you feel like you're constantly being tripped up and just falling off track through whether it's comparison, whether it's caught up in restrictive eating, whether it's you feel like you just beat yourself up because you're not doing good enough or you're not seeing results. Like how many times I ever woke up in the morning and just felt like, what is the point? I'm not even seeing any progress. I just remember one night specifically when I was really struggling with binge eating and I had just binged and I felt so low and I felt so defeated and I just felt like, honestly, I really felt hopeless. And I remember just like, honestly, crying, just really like, Lord, if you ever get me out of this, I will tell every single girl how you delivered me and how you got me out and how that, how they can avoid, you know, falling into the same trap that I fell into. You can live a healthy lifestyle in in a form of like enjoyable freedom, like with actual real joy, with joy that doesn't come, you know, with different circumstances or that gets shaken by certain things that happen or that gets sucked away when you feel discouraged, but you can really move and live in joy every single day. I love you guys so much. I always clap my hands when I'm like ready to wrap up the video. Like, good job, Cambria. You you ended the video. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.